Hey guys, welcome back to Catching IQ. This is Jeremy and today we're going to go over the basics of blocking and how to make you a better catcher. Alright guys, so today we're talking about the basics of blocking and I got a few things that are really going to help you get better at blocking. The first thing we have, get into a good secondary stance. We have our primary stance is more relaxed and something that we can stay in for the whole game. Our secondary stance is going to be a little bit more active in two strike counts or with runners on so that we can throw runners out or we can block a ball. What I want you guys to do is have a wide base with your feet and your hips are going to sit up a little bit higher. That way we're able to move quickly side to side for our blocks or we can go quickly up into our throws. When you're in that secondary stance though, we want to make sure that we still have the glove at the knee height so that we can still receive pitches. And you want your throwing hand thumb tucked in and your hands loose over that, tucked in here to protect from foul balls. Number two is going to be anticipation. We need to expect in two strike counts or with runners on that the ball is going to be in the dirt. If we're expecting a great pitch, and we get one in the dirt, we aren't going to be able to react. So when we're in our secondary stance, we're anticipating the ball in the dirt so that we can react and get there quickly. Anticipation is going to be the most important part to your blocks. Number three is going to be block timing. After we anticipate the block, now we need to time our block so that we get into our blocking position at a good time. If I get down into my block, and it, let's say I get into it too early and the ball hasn't made its bounce yet and I'm already in my blocking position and it continues moving. I'm already in this position and now I've got to try to lean and it's going to affect my blocking accuracy. If we're too late in our block, sometimes the ball's going to sneak underneath us. The best timing that I've found for blocks is that we want to be hitting our knees in our block as the ball bounces. Number four is going to be blocking accuracy which directly relates to our block timing. If I'm early or if I'm late it's going to affect the accuracy of my block. Right where our, our bull logo is that's pretty much where we want to try to put the ball on our catching gear right right in the center. And we're moving side to side for our blocks okay I'm trying to square that ball up so that when it hits me, it's hitting me square. That's going to help me absorb the baseball in so that it, it's dropping out in front of me. If I'm late getting over to a block to my left or to my right, that's when you start getting it off the shoulders and the arms and, and that's going to happen. But as much as we can, we want to try to be as accurate and as on time with our block. Number five is going to be absorb the baseball. As you can see, they're kind of they all fall right in line. Okay, if my timing is good and my accuracy is good, it's going to be much easier for me to absorb the baseball in and keep it closer. As the ball is hitting us, we're going to just kind of tuck in just a little bit. This is going to absorb the baseball in and kind of take away some of the energy that's coming into your body. If I just sit here and let the ball hit me, that ball is going to go and do whatever it wants to do. It can go anywhere it wants. We want to be active with absorbing the ball in so that the ball is dropping in this zone so it's much easier for recovering the baseball. That brings us to number six is recover. Once we are on time, accurate, absorb the baseball. If we've done a good job, we've kept it close. Now we want to recover the baseball so that we can keep runners where they're at. That's the main goal. Control the baseball, control the runners. There's two ways you can recover the baseball. First way is with what's called a gorilla punch. So we're going to put our two hands down onto the ground and punch and pop up. Just like that there. And then we're going to go down to recover the baseball and throw a guy out. The second thing we can do if you're a little bit more athletic is just pop up from our legs. This one is kind of a bit quicker and you want to use the momentum of going down into your block 
to pop yourself back up. It'll look a little bit like this. I go down into my block, block, pop up, and recover the baseball. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit quicker than the gorilla punch if I can do it right after I make my block. All right guys, so thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and click the bell so that you can get notifications for all the videos that we have coming up next. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Check out our website as well. We do online video analysis for catchers and we're also throwing in some stuff for the hitters there as well. You send us in your videos of you blocking, receiving, and throwing. We'll analyze it, send you back a review, and give you some drills that you can only find on our website to work on those things so that you get better. And thanks for watching.